Hi everybody, we're going to read one of my favorite dinosaur books today. It's called Dinosaur Cousins. And here's the front cover. And you can see there's a dinosaur and a rhinoceros. The back cover is just blank and the spine is purple. That's one of my favorite colors. Okay, so we're going to read Dinosaur Cousins. And here's the title page. Dinosaur Cousins by Bernard Most. All right, I know that there are no dinosaurs anymore, but whenever I go to the zoo or read a book about animals, I see so many animals that remind me of dinosaurs. I wonder, are they dinosaur cousins? Look at these animals he's thinking about. Rhinoceros, giraffes, elephants, ostriches, camels, I think. Let's find out. Is a rhinoceros a dinosaur cousin? A rhinoceros reminds me of a triceratops. A triceratops walked on all four legs and had horns like a rhinoceros, even though it looked dangerous. A triceratops attacked only if it was attacked first, just like a rhinoceros. If the triceratops were alive today, I think the rhinoceros would be his best friend. Here they are. What do you think? Is a rhinoceros and a triceratops dinosaur cousins? Is a duck a dinosaur cousin? A duck reminds me of a hadrosaurus. Here's a hadrosaurus, what do you think? A hadrosaurus was a duck-billed dinosaur Webbed fingers, webbed toes, along with a flat tail, made it a good swimmer. Fossils of footprints suggest that hadrosaurus mothers watched out for their young, just like mother ducks do. I wonder if they were able to quack like ducks. So there's a hadrosaurus mother and some hadrosaurus babies. And here's a duck mother and her ducklings. And I wonder, do you think they're dinosaur cousins? Do you have cousins? I have a lot of cousins. Here's another one. Is a road runner a dinosaur cousin? A road runner reminds me of an avamimus. Avamimus means bird mimic. All right, so here's the road runner on the top and here's the avamimus on the bottom. Avamimus means bird mimic. Fossils show real feathered wings and tails prove the avamimus was a feathered dinosaur. Many scientists believe birds are living dinosaur cousins and like our modern roadrunner, the avamimus ran at a fast speed to catch its dinner instead of flying. So there they go. Here's a roadrunner. We have some of those in Texas and that's the avamimus dinosaur. What do you think? Dinosaur cousins? Are porcupines dinosaur cousins? A porcupine reminds me of a kentrosaurus. All right, on the top there's the porcupine, and on the bottom a kentrosaurus. A kentrosaurus, which means pointed lizard, was like a giant porcupine. Its body was protected by pointed bony plates and sharp spikes like a porcupine. It was a plant eater and it could use its spikes if it was attacked. Do you think that meat eating dinosaurs got the point? <laughs> the point, get it? What do you think? Is a porcupine and a kentrosaurus dinosaur cousins? Are kangaroos dinosaur cousins? A kangaroo reminds me of a kaku Kakuru. Here's the picture that the artist drew of the Kakuru. Because of very long legs and a very long tail, scientists think Kakurus were able to make high leaps like kangaroos. The name Kakuru even sounds like kangaroo and fossils of Kakurus were found in Australia, home of the kangaroo. Maybe someday scientists will discover a dinosaur with a pouch. So what do you think? Are kangaroos 
and Kakuru's dinosaur cousins? Maybe. Is a moose a dinosaur cousin? A moose reminds me of a Lambiosaurus. All right, here's moose. You could see that if you went to Canada, eh? A Lambiosaurus has a large bony crest that looks like a moose's antlers. You see it? Scientists think they use the crest to make a loud horn-like toots. Moose make a sound like that when they call each other. The Lambiosaurus was once lived in Canada and the Northern United States. That's where moose live today. Oh my goodness. Do you think a Lambiosaurus and a moose are dinosaur cousins? Are giraffes dinosaur cousins? Hmm, a giraffe reminds me of a Brachiosaurus. Okay, here's the giraffes. <clears throat> here's the Brachiosaurus picture. So a giraffe reminds me of a Brachiosaurus. One of the longest necks of any dinosaur, a Brachiosaurus was like a giraffe. It used its long neck to reach leaves in the tallest trees and on top of its head, a Brachiosaurus has a bony crest, just like giraffes have bony horns on the top of their head. So there you go, maybe giraffes and Brachiosaurus are dinosaur cousins. Are armadillos dinosaur cousins? Some of you might remember from our Texas week that um, armadillos are the state small mammal. So armadillos remind me of an ankylosaurus, ankylosaurus. So on the top, armadillo, on the bottom, ankylosaurus. Okay, this one's really got me. An armadillo gets its protection from rows and rows of bony plates of armor, and an ankylosaurus had a low barrel-shaped body covered by rows of bony plates of armor, which protected it from bigger dinosaurs. And scientists think that the ankylosaurus ate insects and an armadillo's favorite meal is insects. What do you think? Ankylosaurus and armadillos, dinosaur cousins? <clears throat> Are musk oxen dinosaur cousins? Musk ox reminds this author of the Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus. So here's musk ox, and here are Styracosaurus. Musk oxen form a circle whenever they're attacked by wolves, and their sharp horns protect the younger and weaker musk ox in the center. Okay. Patterns of fossils have been found showing herds of this plant-eating dinosaur. Um, formed in circles for protection from meat-eating dinosaurs. So the Styracosaurus and the musk ox might be dinosaur cousins. All right, is an ostrich a dinosaur cousin? An ostrich reminds me of a Struthiomimus. Struthiomimus, so here's the ostrich. Here's the Struthiomimus. Okay, which means ostrich mimic, okay? I can see why it got its name. An ostrich is one of the fastest animals in the world today, and the Struthiomimus was one of the fastest dinosaurs. I'd love to see a race between them. I wonder who would win. And there's the Struthiomimus and the ostrich. Do you think they're dinosaur cousins? Maybe. All right, are elephants dinosaur cousins? Elephants remind me of Brontosaurus. All right, here's elephant herd and a brontosaurus herd. All right, fossils show that brontosaurus ran in herds the same way elephants do, and brontosaurus means thunder lizard uh, because it made the ground shake when it walked, just like the ground shakes when a herd of elephants walks through the jungle, and I wonder if brontosaurus like peanuts. <laughs> well, here's the elephants. And the brontosaurus, do you think they might be dinosaur cousins? All right, are bighorn sheep dinosaur cousins? Bighorn sheep remind me of Stegosaurus. All right, here's Stegosaurus. So just like male bighorn sheep, male Stegosaurus had headbutting contests. <laughs> They used their bony heads and the winner became the leader of the herd. And these dinosaurs made their home in the highest hills and mountains where bighorn sheep live today. So there it is. 
the Stegosaurus and the bighorn sheep. What do you think? Dinosaur cousins? Hmm, are seals dinosaur cousins? A seal reminds me of a plesiosaurus. The plesiosaurus is actually a cousin of dinosaurs, okay? Because of its flippers, a plesiosaurus was a good swimmer and could breathe out of the water just like a seal. And I wonder if a plesiosaurus could have balanced a ball on the top of its head like seals can do sometimes. What do you think? Dinosaur cousins? What about a gazelle? Is a gazelle a dinosaur cousin? A gazelle reminds me of a Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Gazelles roam the plains grazing on grass and this plant-eating dinosaur was also a grazer feeding on low plants. Okay, when it was in danger, a Parasaurolophus could run as fast as a gazelle. Doesn't its curved hollow horn remind you of a gazelle's antlers? What do you think? Dinosaur cousins? Hmm, is a pelican a dinosaur cousin? Look at those pelicans. You might have seen them if you go to the beach. Pelicans remind me of pterodons. All right, here's a pterodon. A pterodon was a flying cousin of the dinosaurs and it made its home on the seaside cliffs, just like pelicans do today. Swooping down, it would scoop up fish in its beak, like pelicans do today. And it also used its beak to store and carry food back to its nest, like pelicans do today. So what do you think, dinosaur cousins? Are baby chicks dinosaur cousins? There's the chicks. Baby chicks remind me of berry, baby protoceratops. Nests containing eggs of baby protoceratops have been discovered, and mother protoceratops protected their eggs like mother chickens protect hers today. Many nests were grouped together, which means the dinosaurs probably took turns and helped each other, kind of like a dinosaur daycare. For me, the dinosaurs are not gone. There are just so many animals living today that remind me of dinosaurs. I'm not a scientist, but it's fun to wonder. Are they cousins? The end. And that was Dinosaur Cousins by Bernard Most. I like that book a lot. It's got some pictures on the end pages. There's that kangaroo and the kakuru. I remember their names. And the Triceratops and the Rhino. And back here, oh, same ones. All right. I hope you enjoy Dinosaur Week. And I love you and I miss you. And I wish you well. Bye.